Now another cool special function that you can use is this ignition coil detection. This is useful when you have a vehicle that's a no start and you're not sure whether the problem is in the key or the antenna coil on the vehicle. So if we select ignition coil detection, all you gotta do is take the antenna on top of the tool right here, put it up against the antenna on the vehicle, put the key in, turn it, and see whether or not you're getting a signal. Very useful to have. Some other special functions that you have are these Mazda ID49 smart key warning lamp clearings. Basically on some Mazdas, when you program a key to them, if the key is not the exact or correct FCC ID or the correct button arrangement, or sometimes if it's an aftermarket key, the vehicle may still start and run with the key, but you're gonna get a light on the dash. This function is used to help you get rid of that light. There's also a function for the Nissan and Infiniti, and there's another universal key baud adjustment. I'm not exactly sure what that does, guys, but if you need it, it's there. Now moving into the immobilizer side, I'm not gonna go too much into detail right now because I am gonna be showing you how to program a key on a Nissan later on in this video. But basically when you come in here, you can see that you have all different manufacturers that you can program keys for. Everything from domestic, import, Europeans, the list goes on and on. If you guys are not sure about compatibility, you can go onto the Autel website and they do have a compatibility chart where you can go in there, put the tool that you're working with, the make and model, and see what you can and cannot do with it. We also have a selection here for automatically identifying the VIN. Now I will mention that the tool works best as long as you're connected to the internet. So wherever you're going to program keys, make sure you take a Wi-Fi hotspot with you. A lot of times I just use my phone as a hotspot and that usually works good enough.